Hey, how are you? It's been a while. I, I'm so happy to see you. It has been a while. Um, I've been all right. Uh, Lauren made the lacrosse team just the other day. What? Th that's impressive for a freshman. Right? <laughs> um, your mom's been really busy preparing for the school year, so I've been helping out a bit with that. Well, of course you have, Professor. <laughs> no, I, uh, I wish I got to see them more often. At least you stop by semi-regularly. That's actually why I'm here, Peter. Hmm? I got a job offer. Teaching oh. upstate. I think that... I took it. I took the job. Oh. Um... When... when did you hear about this? Just a few days ago. Well, why didn't you tell me a few days ago? It's, it's been a whirlwind, really. I, I, I didn't have time to, to, to come by. To, to tell me, tell me what? That, that, that you were abandoning me? Abandoning you? Because it definitely feels like that. All I'm trying to do is move forward with my life, Peter. You should understand that. You should be supportive of me. I, I, I know I should. It's just, this is a lot, and I'm, and I'm not used to change. I don't want things to change either, Peter. There's not much that I can do about that now. Just being around your house and your family, I can feel the emptiness that's there, and it, I can't take it anymore. It's been a year, but it feels like a day, Peter. And, and I need you, and, and your family needs you, but... I understand, Martha. Don't let me hold you back. This, this, this is what we wanted. And don't worry. I, um, I will always, I will always be here whenever you want to visit me. I don't want to leave you. I loved you. I still love you.